Way back in 1977, a Frenchman got lost in the Tenerife Desert during the Abidjan Nice route. Rescued from the sands, he returned to France defeated, but not broken. Soon he had a new mission, to create a new rally and boldly brave the sand. It's a good thing he didn't get lost in a shopping mall. One year later, the Paris to Dakar rally was born and Thierry Sabine became a legend. Let's take a closer look at how his legacy continues. This is Red Bull TV's total, 2018 Dakar Rally Edition. December 26, 1978 was the first running of the Dakar Rally. The race has grown since its founding, and while it was originally held in Europe and Africa, the Dakar Rally moved to South America in 2009, and it's been there ever since. Billed as the most dangerous race in the world, Dakar is an off-road endurance event spanning two weeks of rally racing. Over 500 competitors represent 60 different nationalities. And it features over 10 trillion grains of sand. At last count, anyway. Let's take a look at the rally facts. 2018 marks the 40th edition of Dakar. And drivers better be ready because only 72% finished in 2017. The race is split into four major competitive groups. Motorcycles, quads, cars, and trucks. 4.4 million spectators will see the race in person, and more than 1 billion will follow along in 190 countries. Damn, who isn't watching? Dakar is the second biggest motorsport event in the world, and 43 vehicle brands will participate. This year, the rally will travel through three countries, beginning in Peru, traveling through Bolivia, and finishing in Argentina. 2018 marks Dakar's return to Peru after a five-year absence. And once again, Tiny Lichtenstein has lost the bidding and has left to hold the mini-bike jamboree. This year, the race consists of nearly 10,000 kilometers. And with multiple locations hovering around 3,700 meters above sea level, riders are going to have to add coping with altitude to the list of challenges they're going to face. The sheer variety of terrain will have drivers on edge as they transition from the sandy Peruvian coastline to the oxygen-depleted heights of Lake Titicaca to the dry riverbeds of Argentina. Not to mention, Bolivia's never-ending salt flats are sure to test the durability and performance of each vehicle. The salt mud is thick and grips to the tire treads, making racing treacherous. On the plus side, salt mud really opens up your pores. Sexy. And now, let's take a look at the individual racing categories. Motorcycles. Since 2011, the engine capacity limit for all motorbikes competing in the Dakar Rally is 450 cc. Quads. In 2009, quads became its own category. There's 750cc and 900cc divisions, and in 2017, the 1000cc division was added. Cars, including everything from buggies to small SUVs. Many car manufacturers use the rally to test the durability of their models. And finally, trucks. A separate category since 1980, trucks are vehicles weighing more than 3,500 kilograms. The rally itself is split into 12 stages, each consisting of about 800 to 900 kilometers. Drivers must complete each leg of the rally and follow a specific route using maps, which is why husband and wife rally teams are so rare. The winner is decided by overall time of the stages, and winners are selected for each discipline. And then riders should put their phone in airplane mode and sleep for two straight weeks, because, come on, this race is brutal. And that's it for this episode of Total, 2018 Dakar Rally Edition. If you can't get to Dakar, or if you're allergic to sand and adrenaline, we've got you covered. Dakar Daily will dive into the people, the places, and all the adventure that makes this rally tick. January 6th through 20th, only on Red Bull TV.